How do you measure a school's performance? The Minnesota Department of Education is moving away from a decades-old system that was based on test scores alone. Instead, to comply with the federal Every Student Succeeds Act, they've launched the North Star Accountability System. Yeah, parents have been telling us for several years now that the test scores aren't um, giving them the information solely just test scores, and they want to be able to see other factors. Education Commissioner Brenda Caselius says this new system will give them a broader picture through being more specific. The new system looks at five different areas, academic achievement, academic progress, progress made by students learning English, graduation rates, and attendance. So I think what stood out is that we're going to be supporting 485 schools before we only supported 155. Uh, because we're really looking at individual schools now uh, in a very different way. They may just need help with attendance rates. They may just need help with their graduation rates, for instance. That support will happen over the next three years. The state has also identified 47 Title I schools that need the most support. About half of those are in the Twin Cities. And you have kind of the all-in support, all hands on deck. For schools that have chronically underperformed year to year, we'll be working not only at the school level, but also looking at the district level and how is the district supporting those schools. The new system also recognizes schools across the state for being top performers. 526 schools were recognized for that. Heidi Wigdahl, CARE 11 News. For specific North Star data related to your child's school, you can find a link at care11.com.